Hello and uh, welcome. Today I am with uh, Volta out in a beautiful town called Ceres. It's about two hours drive, I think, from Cape Town, city of, yeah. uh, city of Cape Town. And uh, I'm going to be speaking to Volta about his carnivorous plant uh, collection, specifically his Nepenthes collection, which is quite remarkable what he's got growing here. And he's going to tell us how he grows the plants, uh, tell us about his favorite plants, um, and a bunch of other information. We'll see how the how the how the interview goes and uh, but I, th I think it's going to be very uh, useful the information that will come out of it and uh, so we're probably going to be doing a few parts I think uh, to this uh, this interview so we'll probably just do a basic um, today and then possibly in the future ones we'll be talking about uh, more specific aspects of growing Nepenthes and how specifically Volta is doing it and um, I really think it's a great uh, opportunity to introduce introduce Volta to the carnivorous plant following in South Africa because he's really doing some amazing stuff and uh, I think it's nice to know that people like him uh, exist locally uh, it's not all overseas and uh, we have some uh, hidden gems in our country as well so without further ado um, let's uh, let's hear from Volta okay so Volta tell me a little bit more about yourself how did you get involved with carnivorous plants and the way I started it was about four years ago my mom brought me a little Sarasina plant she bought at a, a red plant sale mm. and I was very intrigued by this little plant it stood there very long time and I eventually started reading up about the plants and started reading up and looking at YouTube videos mm. and I got very intrigued into the plants mm. you all we all go mad and then we want to get seeds and we, I imported a lot of seeds from overseas from China and it all turned out to be <laughs> rubbish so yeah it's a big love I actually can show you my first Venus flytrap <laughs> I actually germinated it actually turned out to be a cactus and then we started getting the right the right yeah. seeds and everything and we yeah. got it and it's just been a roller coaster from yeah. there onwards so, yeah. yeah so you've been st uh, you've been growing I think you showed me a photo from 2000 yeah. 18. 18, 2018 yeah I okay. started yeah. Okay. small little collection yes. I, it, it, I had a small little greenhouse and that was that's one we're standing in it's actually the third trial yes and so yeah it started there and it just got got more into the yeah. plants and more into the plants and then yeah. you found that there's different kind of carnivores plants yeah. and you meet the people along the way like Peter yeah. Hewitt and yeah. Yaku from Bazaar Tropicals yeah. and Therese from Cultivate all assisted me and yeah this yeah. is my end of the day where I'm at now fantastic so, yeah. so why did you uh, so you growing I mean in your your greenhouse you've got uh, some Saracenias and you've got some Dionea and some Draceras yes. um, but obviously the plant that re is receiving the most attention <laughs> is, is the Nepenthes. So like they say the Nepenthes is my poison like that. Uh, so yeah definitely. Yeah. The I poison just, to your bank account. I just love it. Yeah it's really expensive you want to have uh, the, the big ones and yeah. the more expensive ones yeah it, it gets very expensive. Yeah I'm keen to know what is your fas uh, how does the fascination or why specifically Nepenthes Penthes and not Dionea, for instance. It always we always revert back to the mouse catchers, like the the, uh, uh, the, the guys that in nature they can catch rats. Yes. So you'll always try and get one that that big. <laughs> right. okay. And you get the guys that's as tall as me, and it it, it, it mm. just fascinates me how they converse from a lower to upper pitch, yes. all the different types okay. of pitches and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and I suppose the fascination is also partially due to, of course, the variety of the pitches that you can get. Yeah. all the the hybrids and now that you're hybridizing yourself I suppose there's this uh, intrigue into what you're going to discover yeah what you're um, going to discover at the end of the day because yeah. you'll have the one that looks like that and that and when you combine the pollen it's going to cater the mother's genes yes. or the father's genes okay. yeah, and it's, okay. yeah, it's just a lot. but but I suppose also just mm. that it's it's so unusual I mean I know that I myself if I've mm. displayed plants at a stand or somewhere and people see the Nepenthes for the first time they just what is that yeah. They just can't. They they they're just fascinated. But everybody knows Venus flytraps. Yeah, they all know so, that the flytraps. But yeah, normally you know. when people come here and they have a look here, they say, "Oh my, what is this? <laughs> it's like in, they've never yeah. seen plants like yeah. that." Yeah. And we all try to get them bigger, faster because sure. I'm trying to give them the optimal conditions in the greenhouse. But you can grow them yes. outside normally. Yes. But some plants just really they want very stable yes. conditions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Walter, a moment ago you mentioned uh, fertilizing. How do you? What is your process? is for fertilizing what how do, what do you use and and what have you learned along the way okay, i've learned that people say don't fertilize carnivorous plants but you really can 
um, I've used different. I've used Maxi, and then I will use um, Osmo Coat. There's a little pellet that you throw in the pitcher. Yeah. It will actually give that. It will last about six months if it doesn't burn the pitcher. Yes. And we also do the Sea Grow. Yes. But yeah, I normally fertilize sp um, foiler feed, like, and I'll spray the plants yeah. once a month. Yeah. And every six months, the big plants will get a, a, a Osmo Coat and a pellet in the pitcher. It every six months. Yeah. Okay. Because it's it a six really, month release. Yeah. Okay. It really helps. It mm. boosts them a lot, and they grow a lot mm. faster. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They do. They, they still catch their normal food, the yes. ants and everything. But yeah. if you have a close greenhouse like me, it's yes. just a little bit that the ants and stuff are, sure. are not as much as yeah. are outside. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, also you mentioned earlier to me that uh, for younger plants, you are actually measuring the TDS yeah. of your solution. What? What did? Uh, yeah. What is normally, your... I'll, I'll. What I will do, I'll make my maxi mix or my yeah. zero mix, yeah. and I'll like I'll take a syringe and a little needle, and I'll inject my pictures. Yes. For basically about 200 ppm. Okay. We don't want to burn the little juvenile pizza, so yes. they. But so you're actually injecting yeah. it with a syringe and a needle yeah. into the into unopened in, pitcher. Into the unopened oh, okay. pitcher to boost them a little bit. Uh huh. And then sometimes we'll I'll take some Osmo coat and I'll grind it, my coffee grinder inside <laughs> out, and I'll use it like a little a little uh, a root fertilizer around the plants, but not a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so okay. I'm experimenting with fertilizer. I yes. have killed a few yes. plants mm. over fertilizing, mm. Mm. but that's the experiment with the sure. pitchers. You have to. I have to experiment to know what works and what yes. doesn't work. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, but so you're looking at uh, when you make a solution of uh, Maxi, yes. you're using, um, you're mixing it to 200 ppm, PPM yes. and uh, for younger plants, yes. and then 400, up to 400 up, up ppm. Up to 400 for the big plants. For the they big can plants. easily take. Okay. And do you do a similar measurement with the measure? Because uh, let's let's face it, Maxi is not readily available no. in South Africa. So most people are going to have access to something like a Sea Grow. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other I don't actually measure on the, on the sea grow side because mm. yeah you can mix it but yeah you don't want to use it a lot because yeah it makes your your mm. greenhouse stink a little bit yeah, of yeah, yeah. rotten yeah, fish and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. but yeah. sea yeah. I don't yeah. I don't ever use the PPM I solution. know um, uh, Peter Hewitt has yeah. advised me in the past to use a solution of two, uh, two and a half moles of um, sea grow yes. per liter of, of water mm -hmm. and that's but uh, I've never actually measured the PPM it yeah, still, you're actually talking about it I've never used the uh, I've never used the PPM on the uh, on the uh, yeah. sea grow itself but yeah. definitely on the maxi because yeah. yeah if you'll use a quarter of a teaspoon onto five liters of water yeah. so it's very very very, very concentrated, high, concentrated yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah there's no other chemical fertilizer i mean there's no substitute other uh, for maxi in, that you're aware of in south africa that you not not, a, not at the moment that i know okay. of no okay no. the volta you're particularly proud of this plant why yeah it's been a joy in growing this little guy from I didn't even get it a small little prawn from a bee import. And yeah, you see the remembers every time people post the pictures overseas and they talk about the toilet picture, but <laughs> never, never I got to see it until yes. they started getting bigger. So yes. the people will definitely see it resembles a, a toilet bowl. Yes. So yeah, well it's really been a joy with this guy and it's just keeping getting better ah. and better. We've been told it's a very difficult plant to grow, but yeah, it actually it, it works in my greenhouse, so mm. I'm and I'm very proud mm. of it at the mm. moment. So, mm. so mm. Good. actually posted it on a group and yeah we got a lot of likes on it so what i normally yeah and it was a lot of toilet humor but the people uh, <laughs> seems to be of loving course. it and <laughs> it's like in, it's for everybody that's got a nepenthes collection this is yes. a gem walter thanks very much for your time this morning and for sharing uh, so much information with myself and the viewers uh, it's really been i'm sure i've learned a lot and i'm sure that um, you would have you watching would have as well and uh, i'd love to come back and maybe look at um, going into a little bit more depth in some of the topics that we've covered uh, i was I found your wet wall to be extremely interesting thanks very much for 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 uh, being willing to to be on camera i know uh, it's i think it's your first time yeah on it's camera. my first game <laughs> so i think it's of all the viewers I'm, I'm, I'm actually african speaking uh, yes so i think see. it did very well uh, i think it did very well and, yeah. and thank you for being uh, uh willing to be on camera because i know some people just uh, <laughs> it's just a no-no so but um that your willingness really to share and I think um, uh, your desire would be that more people would be growing Nepenthes yeah, and, 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 and that they can if you can give them in, uh, something that will help them then that's what you want to do so I appreciate that um, and so yeah uh, please do leave your comments below uh, if you want to see more um, from Vol uh, for more of Volta and his collection of Nepenthes and of course if you have any questions um, please do uh, ask them and then I'll see if I can get Volta to answer them uh, either directly on 
on the channel or otherwise just give me the answer and I can post it or something like that awesome. and uh, but it's been great to visit uh, Volta and I hope to come back soon I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so now and then uh, you'll of course be uh, notified when more videos come up and uh, but until next time take care and goodbye Thanks. I want to say thanks Terry for being here today <laughs> and thanks to all the people that's been helping me through all these times and yeah, it's, it, it's, we all do it for the love of the plants at the end of the day. Yeah. Thank you. Special. Thanks Terry. I My pleasure Volta. <laughs>